I've been trying to read, so yeah, to keep my German up. I've just been hearing so much English and it's like kind of nice. Yeah, but then I don't also don't want to forget German. So I've definitely been trying to listen to German too. Sorry, my phone. <laughs> Remo. <laughs> So while, while we were on our vacation, um, we got an email back from the lady that I had met with earlier about my classes, about my German classes, <clears throat> and she said that she had signed me up for a class that starts on February 13th, um, which is great because it's earlier than we thought, <clears throat> but I'm actually going to be out of town. Um, I had another, I have one more trip planned, just me, I'm going back to the U.S. for a few weeks. Uh, my little brother is coming home and anyways um, but I don't get back from the US until like three or four days after it starts which isn't that big of a deal um, but I just don't like to miss like like I like to I just yeah I just feel weird about missing the first week I just feel like I shouldn't but nothing we can do um yeah and so anyway she had emailed us and said that if I wanted to, I could try out the first section and go whenever I want, basically for free, and just see if it's like a good fit. And so we decided to do it, and so today's Monday, we just had gotten back on Saturday, and so Monday, which is today, um, yeah, I just got back from my first day. Um, it started at 8.30, and they had originally, she had told me it was five hours, but I think that might just be the second section. I'm not exactly sure because this was like the first section. And so this one was only three hours. So it was from 8.30 to 12. So what, three and a half hours. <clears throat> oh, there's a spider. Oh, 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 what is it doing? I just got back and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It was, it was fine. I was very nervous and I don't know why I was so nervous because it was like totally fine. They were going over things that I learned a long, long time ago and I was very bored and felt just really like ahead to the point of like I could fall asleep. <laughs> um, but I guess it's, it's better if I'm ahead than too far behind, you know, I thought it would be really hard. But this is the section before, but I think I move up with the same class. Um, so I think this is like the end of their class and if this is the end of their class, then the next section is also going to be too easy for me, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stick with it because maybe, <clears throat> like, a lot of times with languages, it starts off really slow and really easy and then picks up really fast and it gets really hard really fast. So, yeah, so I'm really excited for to start. I feel like it's going to be, like, a really good step. And, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We did come back to snow. Okay, so this is like a few days after we've been back and then it snowed the day we got back and there was a lot of snow everywhere and it kind of has melted. So Remo came home the other day, yesterday, and look what he brought me. I'll show you. Look at how cute. They're um, tulips. They haven't bloomed yet, but they're so pretty. He brought them for me because I'm leaving. Sad. So I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, yeah. And we've had kind of like a busy week or so since we got home from Portugal. I started my class like literally the next day. And then I've been going every single day since then. And yeah, it's been okay. Um, mostly really boring. Like I fall asleep. But that's just because it's like the easier class. And so yeah, I don't know. I tried to ask the teacher if it would like pick up and get harder and she didn't understand what I was saying. <laughs> So we made it to the train station, about to leave, and we missed our train. We got here right in time for the train to the light to turn off so you couldn't open the door anymore. And we totally missed it, but that's okay because there's another one in 20 minutes and we're early anyways, but yeah, kind of late we were running. After the longest day ever, I made it to Phoenix, 11, 11 hours from London to Phoenix and then I flew from Hamburg to London before that and I took a train before that it's like crazy it's a long night it's 6 p.m. here but in Germany it's like 3 in the morning <laughs> so I feel like I totally skipped a night but 
Yeah, I'm excited to be here. It feels warm. Yay! So I made it here. We're in Phoenix with my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was like the longest flight, craziest flight, bumpiest flight, and down or up. It took me four hours of the ten hours to convince myself I'm not going to die. <laughs> and then after that, I was okay. So I just got my first... Dr. Pepper, my first QT back since I've been back. And this is like a joyous moment. And it's so crazy because after being in Germany for so long, I can't even fathom drink drinking this much of the soda. But once I drink it, it'll be the best thing ever. And I'll probably have another one and another one. And then I'll be addicted. And then with, just for me to go back and not be able to have it anymore. But the Dr. Pepper here is so good. It's so, so good. Have you ever seen this much of a clear sky? It's so nice, oh my goodness. Today is like a total beautiful day outside. It's um, 24 degrees or in Fahrenheit, oh, 76. So nice outside, it's like 4 p.m. And yeah, I'm just in my parents' backyard. So they have a pool with like the, um, the cover over it. It's definitely too cold to swim. And yeah, they just redid it. They have like a fireplace and um, some nice seating. And yeah, I'm just hanging out in the sun and reading. So I have this book and I have it in German and I'm trying to read it. Um, yeah, I got a few books from my sister-in-law as well that I have been trying to read. So yeah, to keep my German up. I've just been hearing so much English and it's like kind of nice. Yeah, but then I don't, also don't want to forget German. So I've definitely been trying to listen to German too. Sorry, my phone. <laughs> Remo. <laughs> the reason why I haven't vlogged that much here is because I've really only gone to a bunch of appointments. So I had, um, when I first got here, I had like a gynecology appointment and then um, I had a dentist appointment today and I have a like medical imaging appointment tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I have another dentist appointment because I have ooh, two, maybe three cavities because I totally suck and I love candy. Um, yeah, and then I also have a dermatology appointment later next week, I think early next week. So I really haven't done very much except go to a bunch of appointments and be with family. So yeah, hopefully I really want to go on a hike. I have my La Croix. It's just really nice. Love it. So we're at this um, movie theater, it's called the Alamo, and like all of the uh, seats have these like tables that you sit on, and then they come and they like take your order, and you like eat dinner while you watch the movie. So this theater is like, it's like really strict like you can't come late they just like are very no distractions so like no kids are allowed and you can't come late and they will take your phone or they will ask you to leave if you use your phone <laughs> so I'm really scared <laughs> so we're oh, seeing a brie and onion jam burger because I'm jam okay <laughs> hello how are you doing Hi. Hi. good how are you very well my name is Chris I uh, just need to check your tickets real quick you can even um, report your neighbor for being disruptive so we just finished. Did you like it? I did. I can't really see good. because it's so bright outside. <laughs> it's so funny thing. I we were we got our food and then we got these like little ketchup packets and they're like these weird ketchup packets and on the thing all I saw was like squeeze to open. I think that's, that's what it was. and it was dark. So I started squeezing and it wouldn't <laughs> come out and so I started squeezing harder and harder and then all of a sudden it shoots out through the side right onto my mom like all over her clothes like in the middle of the theater and I felt really bad because <laughs> it was everywhere. But anyways, so what movie did we see again? Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures. It's yeah, really good. Really good. A plus for that one. Yeah. So thank you Alamo for getting so delicious. What size do you want? So it's like soda, but it's like has all these flavors added. It's all the rage in these here parts of Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so it is like 7 in the morning and taking advantage of my jet lag because I'm about to go hike a mountain, um, Camelback Mountain. It's like pretty famous here in Arizona in the Phoenix area. It's like right in the Phoenix area. And yeah, look at this sunrise. Oh, I don't know if you can even tell it anymore. There's like this weird tree in the way actually. Yeah, dang. Yeah, it doesn't look very high from here, but it's actually a pretty deceivingly hard hike. It gets really busy here, so I wanted to come super early. I don't know if I want to risk taking my camera. I'm trying to decide, but I don't think I will. And so I'm going to switch to phone view. And here is my mountain that I'm going to climb. So let's do it. It's supposed to look like a camel. Can you see the camel? Like hump and hump. Yeah, so... Um, but yeah, usually when you go this early, you're like with all the people that are really good at hiking <laughs> and I feel like I'm not very fast, but um, yeah, we'll see how I do. Here's the sun. Welcome. So pretty. And now we get to rock climbing. Made it to the top. There's Phoenix. All the way over there. 360 view. So pretty. Okay, now I go down. It took me like 40 minutes to come up, so we'll see how long it takes to go down. It's definitely just as hard going down as up, because now you have to rock climb back down. Here are my boulders that I'm going down. What I came from. Crazy. Good workout. Made it. I see the car. <laughs> Made it back to the car. Yeah, it was good. I felt like I feel kind of happy because last time I did it, I felt like I needed a lot more breaks, and this time I don't think I needed any breaks. Um, yeah, and I think it's due to like working out a ton in Germany. And yeah, it was good. And now it's so full here. Completely full parking lot. So many people when I was going down were coming up. I'm just so glad I came so early. Because now the sun is completely out. And as you can see, completely full. Everyone's circling. I probably have like three cars waiting for me to leave because I have a coveted spot. So, but yeah, it was really good. I'm really glad I came. And now I make the long journey back home. <laughs>